Hello, guys. welcome. Welcome to our first vlog. <laughs> we are Fitness K Creative Studio and I am Carla Peña. My name is architect Paul Peña. And uh, we will be doing vlogs and we'll be touring you houses na ginawa namin. Pero mm. first is, ano bang fitness cape? Kasi nga lang nila gym eh. Oo nga eh. Gym ba to? Maraming nag-aakala na fitness cape <laughs> is a gym and a wellness center. Pero the real story behind fitness cape is it's actually my thesis project during college. So I wanted uh, to showcase you know, that architecture can also affect the lives of the users. Uh, our, our forte in design is high-end residential houses. So what we do is we try to uh, design houses in such a way that it makes you feel that you are not in the, the city. A house should be a place where you escape, where you need to have uh, peace, where you experience uh, a relaxing atmosphere. So that's why escape comes into play. Parang escape from the, the business of the urban life. The house should be a place that you'll be able to escape from all the problems that you encounter every day. Yeah, wow. escape. Oh, diba? <laughs> De, tsaka, ano, we're focused on really the client's physical well-being and mm. uh, relationship. Plan. So we want a house wherein ayaw mo na umalis. So, kumbaga, perfect siya for quarantine, diba? Lalo na ngayon sa pandemic, diba? Most of the people talaga find their refuge and their relaxed places in their house. Tama. Ayan. So, yung point natin is puro rest house. Rest house. And you know, a house should be a place na nakaka-relax. Okay, oh, paulit ulit. Tara, oh. tutur namin kayo. <laughs> pa Judith, Judith. Gatong de We are a design firm. We do interior architecture, construction, and we focus in green architecture as well. Siya muna magsa-start kasi okay. interior muna. So, focus muna tayo sa interior. interior. So, pagpasok mo, di ba? Ano muna makikita mo? <laughs> Bahay. <laughs> Bahay. Pumasok ka dito, makikita mo na high ceiling siya. Well, sa interior, actually, yung mga nagiging common mistake ng mga tao, yung mag high ceiling ka, dapat yung mga furniture mo or yung pieces ng furniture mo, dapat mataas din siya. So, for example, itong may high back tayo dito, tapos yung lamp natin, tapos yung painting, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi yung eyes natin, gusto natin may sinusundan. So pag lahat mabababa yung furniture mo, hindi ka na titingin pataas. So mas na-accentuate yung pagka-high ceiling if you have big pieces of furniture as well para mas ma-emphasize yung pagka-high ceiling niya. Tsaka pag pasok mo agad sa isang house and then may high ceiling, it creates a more of a grand... Uh, look, di ba? Mm. Para nagbumukha mas maaliwalas yung isang space. Kasi nga, uh, yung eyes mo, it tricks you, di ba? It, 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 Illusion it, it gives you more of a visual um, sense, di ba? Na, na, mas marami ka nakikita mm. kaysa yung street lang yung tingin mo. Ginamit natin sa walls natin or formica, formica. high-end uh, laminate siya. Actually, yung problema sa interior kasi, narinig yun na ba yung word na alon-alon? <laughs> yun yung mga problema pag painting. So, pangit, di ba? As in, di atin... Pacific Ocean, waves. Yun yung tawag sa job site. Pag maalon yung wall. <laughs> Totoo? Oo, tawag yung waves. <laughs> waves, parang asar yun sa, pang asar yun sa mga pintor, pintor di ba? So, di mo siya may iwasan kasi, di ba, tao rin naman sila. Oo, oh, no, no, <laughs> may tolerance talaga. Pero ang problema kasi, once na nagkaroon na ng uh, light dun sa wall na yun, it's Lala. so hard to perfect that uh, clean and smooth one.
<laughs> so, ano ba yung concept namin as a designer? So, concept namin is Asian industrial design. So, when you say Asian industrial, ano ba yun? Basically, Asian, we focus a lot of um, natural elements. And when you say industrial, that comes in yung mga modern design. The use of steel, the use of uh, bold colors, colors, dark colors. Diba? Yan yung ano. Basically, we blend those two together. And then, we, we came up with something like this. Diba? Puro neutral, and then may strike ng colors through the furniture. This is part of the outdoors ng house. So, ano ba ito nakikita nyo dito? Tubig. It's tubig. It's a swimming pool. Unfortunately, hindi kami nakapang swimming ngayon. So, explain na lang namin. So, part ng um, Asian industrial resort type design na ginagawa namin, we always use a lot of uh, water sa house. Why? Ano ba purpose ng water? Of course, uh, water, it softens the environment. And of course, water also, it lowers the temperature, di ba? Especially if once na nag-bounce na yung, yung sunlight sa water, in a way, then, they dissipate yung heat. So, yan nga. And, and also, one more thing, the sound of water, di ba? Creates a more of a relaxing, a relaxing a natural uh, environment para dun sa mga users. house na to, if you would notice, yung view. Pakita mo yung view. <laughs> so, makikita yung view. Kaya mo yung view, oh. Diba? Pwede ka mag-high sa mga kapit-bahay mo siya. Oo, oh, pwede mo sinipin. Hmm. Pag mapansin nyo, yung house na to, nasa cliff siya. So, before, walang may gusto magpatayo dito sa house na to kasi nakakatakot, diba? As in, like, baka mag-landslide. Sa construction cost. Kasi, oh. syempre, uh, it's more expensive to build in a cliff versus a flat plot. Fitness oh, Cape Fitness Cape designed this in a sense na kinuntur niya yung lupa. Ano ba, ano ba difference versus uh, building in a flat lot versus in a sloping lot? So, ang advantage ng building in a flat lot, of course, mas mura siya sa construction cost. Pero, in building in a sloping lot, tendency mas expensive siya na konti. Pero, you can really play and add more floors to the building. Mm -hmm. So, if dito, even... Kwarto ng aso and kwarto ng helpers. May view. Isipin mo yun. <laughs> yung, kaya yung aso mo, tumang-tuwa. <laughs> so, yun ang advantage ng ano, building on a cliff uh, lot, on a sloping lot. Okay. So, uh, explain mo naman yung structural natin. Okay. And, oh, dito ko ulit. <laughs> so, ano ba to Paul? Uh, ano, ano ba ito? Hindi ko rin alam eh. Napulot lang namin ito eh. So, yun nga. Di ba, like what I said, ang concept na ginagawa namin is Asian industrial. So, from the word industrial itself, it simply means that you use a lot of mga steel, uh, concrete, tapos mga unfinished materials, diba? And then you turn it into something na part siya ng design ng house. So, example is this one. And if you can zoom in dito, <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, yan, tihawa ka natin. So, yan. Diba? This is very non-conventional for uh, residential design. You always see this design sa mga high-rise buildings, mga warehouse, mga industrial um, structures. Pero here, we put it as part of the, the structural component of the house. At the same time, naging architectural piece rin siya. Bakit ba kailangan yan? Art eh, syempre. <laughs> Art. So instead of using a vertical concrete column, ginawa namin interesting, di ba? Ginawa namin siyang steel para at least once na highlight siya, nag-iisa na ganito. It's, it's uh, something ano, interesting. It's not that... Interesting ba? Interesting, oo. Oh. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> interesting Pero, naman, di ba? Kakayo ba siya? Kakayo ba siya? Tsaka, if you would notice, yung... Uh, mahaba yung eaves ng house. So, it serves as a support thread. Pero pa kaming isang explain na feature ng, architectural feature ng house. So, makikita nyo dito, di ba? This is um, tiles. And then makikita nyo dito, nagkaroon ng pebbles. And then makikita nyo dito may railing. At the same time, after railing, makikita nyo, nakakalula yung view, di ba? 
Pag hindi ka pag afraid of heights ka, di ba? Hindi ka nalalapit dito. So, ano ba purpose? Bakit namin ginawang pebbles to? Rather than making it tiles all the way. It simply acts as a natural deterrent, di ba? Para yung mga guests. Obviously, hindi yung, yung mga guests mo pupunta dito sa pebbles. So, hindi na sila didikit dito sa railing na side. Mm. O dito lang, parang ikaw, nakatayo ka lang dyan ngayon. Siyempre, nandung ka eh. Yun nga. Game, explain mo naman tong room na to. So, ano ba tong room na to? Itong room na to is the home office. Totoo ba? Totoo. Okay. Home office, pero hanggang ngayon, brand new pa din. Walang gumagamit. Walang <laughs> gumagamit. <laughs> Basically, for any house na yun, nagiging need ng home office eh. Bakit? Kasi nga, online na lahat. Online na lahat. Lahat puro Zoom na. Wala lang pupunta sa physical office na yun. So, it's also important kung meron kong extra space sa house to have a personal space for your office, for your uh, business, diba? for your work needs. So, yan. Ito yung home office. <laughs> okay, thank you. Pwede <laughs> mong i-open to. It's a accordion, accordion door. door. Pa din. And you can see the fish here and feed them. Pwede ba sa'yo, pet? Yeah. Pet mo nga. <laughs> onyx stone siya. And onyx stone, maraming types ng onyx stone. Merong mga parang yellowish, merong mga white. Whitish. Uh, oh, white, whitish? Whitish. <laughs> whitish ba? Okay. Basta parang white effect. Pero it depends talaga sa onyx. So yung value ng onyx would depend on the color of the stone as well. Maganda siya kasi translucent stone siya. So if you put light sa likod, ito yung effect niya. Mm-hmm. Eh, whereas sa ibang mga stone, di ba, kahit wala. lagay mo light, walang effect. Wala effect. Uh, so magandang... Accent. Na- accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the kitchen. Itong kitchen na to is from Polyform. Polyform. So, Italian brand siya. And itong countertop natin is Decton. It's the highest and most expensive stone. Kasi kahit mag-chop-chop ka dito ng lechon, or na kahit ano, hindi siya mag-break. At pero, kahit init, kaya niya. Pero dahil sobrang expensive, yung mga helper ayaw na tuloy mag-chop. <laughs> Wala lang tayo may nakahain. Baka mag kaya makita ng magandang picture. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so, dito naman tayo sa wow. table. Wow. Look at that table. <laughs> Wow, naman ng plato. special. <laughs> Sino bakit kaya special to? Bakit kaya special? Bakit tingin mo, bakit? Ay, kaya ko sa'yo. <laughs> This is where we get our accessories. Yung mga plato namin, yung spoon and fork, lahat complete sila. So, you can follow them sa Instagram. Ano pangalan? Dwelling Pod. Dwelling Pod. Ulit, one, two, three. Dwelling Pod. <laughs> Instagram and Facebook. You can okay. follow them. Ha? Yan, check nyo naman yung mga plates nila. Oh. So, Super ganda. So, papakita tayo mga detail rin ito. So, ako. parang ayaw mo na kumain kasi ayaw mo madumihan yung plato. Oo. Oh, oh. So, titigan mo dala. Ginawa na lang, ginlast na lang one side. One side ng koi pond. And... Wala ka lang kikita. Wala ka lang kikita. Patay na. Patay na sila. Oh, takot sa'yo ba? Camera siya. Mahihain yung mga fish. Okay, ito naman ay guest, guest room. room. So... So... Ayun. Guest so, guest room siya. <laughs> Okay, 
sa favorite part of the house, which is... <laughs>